Hi, I'm Colin from HDCCTV. In this video, we're going to run through the setup for the IQ DVRs and also how to install IQ CMS, the remote PC software. So this is the first screen you see when you first turn the machine on. This is a startup wizard. If you click on next step, that shows you then the hard drive settings. Just make sure the hard drive is there and working okay. Next step would be the schedule. So this is how you set up whether, how it's recording. By default it comes in as recording all the time, but you can set it to record motion or motion and all the time. There's various settings. Um, if you want motion and all the time, so you get a motion trigger on the timeline when you play back, but it's also recording all the time. Highlight the M row on this screen. Set the recorder to yellow record and motion only. This will save on quite a bit of hard drive space. You just have to make the N row blue again. So just click on each green block and turn it back to blue and that will set the recorder to be recorded on M motion only. Okay, so once we've done that, that's that's Sunday on channel one setup and we just press the two copy buttons to copy them to first one will copy Sunday to all days. And the second one will copy channel one to all channels. So all cameras on all days, recording motion only. Next screen is the date and time screen. Just make sure that's correct. Change if you need to. Next we have the network screen. So make sure that's selected on DHCP. This will then assign an IP address to the recorder. Also, auto port forwarding, make sure that's enabled and that, will, that should open up ports on the router to allow you to uh, use it from outside your network. Okay, that's the recorder side setup. Let's now go over to a PC, insert the supplied CD-ROM into the, into the uh, computer and navigate to the PC software. Next we go to the DVR CMS software folder and double click on the IQ CMS application file. This will then go through the process of installing the IQMS, IQ CMS software. Okay, now we can launch the IQ CMS application. And as you see, another wizard here, so we just click on next to go to add a, a DVR. So we click on add online device, that will then search for the network for that recorder, which as you see is 10.0.0.12. And then we click add selected device. Here we can uh, name the uh, recorder, let's call it DVR1, you can call it whatever you like. And the username and password by default is admin and admin. So there's the uh, recorder we just added on the left hand side. Just need to now click import and that imports it to the right hand side and adds it to the default group. So there we go. We go next and that's the wizard complete. So now we've had, added the recorder to the device, to the software. So we now go on main view and you'll see in the default group on the left hand side we've got the DVR with its four channels. If you want to view that just drag and drop the whole recorder icon across to the screen and there's the four cameras shown. You can drop individual cameras if you wish. Now by default it's uh, streaming the low resolution stream to you so if you want high resolution right click on the DVR and go to set main stream to all and that gives you the full high resolution image, the full HD image. You can go full screen with the software to just look at the camera or cameras. And you've also got various screen view options, anything from one up to 64 cameras on show at one time. You can, if you wish, freely drag and drop the screens between the, uh, the big and small locations, as you can see there. Now, in each window, you've got various options. You've got capture, record, pan, tilt, zoom, panel. Uh, we've got stop view, we've got digital zoom here, this is where you can drag and drop a part of the screen and view it close up. So just drag and drop a rectangle there. Okay. Now we've got remote, remote playback. So we uh, select from the default group the recorder and whichever channels we want to play back. 
Let's have, let's have all four of this recorder and then hit uh, search. That will then insert a green line across the timeline there. Uh, we've only got a few minutes of recording on this recorder because I've formatted the hard drive this morning. But we'll just, uh, just play back a little bit of recording there. There we go. Within each window, you've got transport controls to play back, so you can uh, quickly whiz back and forward through the day. Or you can click on the timeline and uh, find a time of day that way. Again, we've got a few icons on this window. Download, open or close sound, record, capture and digital zoom. So you can zoom in on playback, which is a really useful feature. And uh, that, so there we go, that concludes this video. Uh, the equipment's available from our website, hdcctv.co.uk, or you can call us on 01952 505 696. Thanks for watching.